Oh my gosh. This is crazy. What's good people, welcome back to the channel. You're back with your boy Navajo. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome in this channel. We speak about all things men's fashion, men's lifestyle, and also men's grooming. Today is not the best of days. I actually went out on a little walk it was obviously rainy, muddy, right along the canal and like an idiot, I decided to wear some expensive shoes. Why? Why, you ask me? I don't know. I wasn't even trying to flex. I just wanted to feel good. And basically, this is what's happened. So I decided to wear my Dior shoes and to be honest they're not as bad but you can see they are there are a lot of like scuff marks on the front and back and even on the side here but really and truly it's the left shoe that's had a problem so I've got mud right on the front and on the sides scuff marks, not sure if you can see, scuff marks, and then on the inside, again, issues. Now, I've tried to wipe off the mud located on the front of the shoe, but it's not coming out. It's literally not coming out. I ain't got Crep Protect. I haven't got any sort of like shoe cleaner, but I've heard that there is a solution out there. So I quickly ran to my local store and I decided to purchase this. So this is the pink stuff. And then we've got the paste as well. Now apparently these products are supposed to help get rid of any sort of stains anywhere. So we're gonna test this out. Don't wanna talk any further. Let's jump straight into it and uh, let's see if this thing works. Hopefully I don't ruin my trainers, man. I will cry. So perfect, so I've got my warm water, I've got my shoes, and I've also got my scourer. Now, I really should be using a cloth, but I think there are some stubborn stains. Hopefully I don't damage my shoes. So I wouldn't recommend actually using this. Uh, use a cloth if possible, but let's see how this turns out so as you can see right here I've got everything that's needed all right <laughs> so I'm literally doing this on my floor I've got nowhere else to do it um, so yeah let's just get straight into it so we're gonna open the pink stuff Perfect. so it looks like that it's just a paste that is pink it smells quite nice so I will dip my scour in the pink stuff first, so let's move that out. Let's dip it in the pink stuff, get a little bit on there. Just like that. And let's apply it to the soles of the trainers. So let's go. And make sure you're getting it nice and good. Rub it right on the trainers. It's actually removing the stuff. This is magical. You will have to put a bit of elbow grease into it. Just dip it as you can. And just rub it. All right, so. So to be honest, as you can see, there are some still stubborn black marks. Now that is what I don't know how to get rid of. I'll have to double check the internet on that. But um, everywhere on the white, literally all the marks are coming off so easily. It's crazy. Like it's just pure white now. I don't know if you can see that, but let's have a look at this side. So you can see it is dirty. Dip my scourer in the pink stuff. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. Wow. Very, very quickly. This removes stuff. 
very, very quickly. The dirt is, obviously I've not wiped that off, but look straight away, you can see the visible difference. Next, I'm gonna dump this in my warm water. And we're just gonna wipe it through. Okay, so now it's gonna flow me. Great, but wow, wow, never seen my shoes this way. Right, my battery's actually gonna die, um, so I am going to charge it and we will come back to it right now. So, all right, so we're back. Charge my, charge my camera. Let's carry on where we left off. So as you can see, there's significant difference on the shoe. Now I'm gonna wipe it off. Wipe off all the foam. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This looks a brand, like a, a brand new shoe. Seriously. Like, look how white it is. This is exactly what it was like when I first bought the shoe. The only thing I still don't know how to get rid of is I don't know if you can see the black marks on there. So that typically tends to happen when you are, or when the other shoe is, that typically tends to happen when you scraped it on something else or your other shoe has scraped it. I still need to figure out a way in which you can remove those type of marks. But honestly, I've put little to no effort in removing the marks on the soles of my shoe. Now they do look brand new, especially the soles. This is crazy. Now the next thing that we're gonna tackle is that. That black mark right there now. Obviously this fabric is gonna be difficult, but let's see if the pink stuff is gonna allow me to remove that stain. Like I said, I've tried it before with um, with a cloth, it wasn't coming off. So let's try it with the pink stuff. Yet again, my scourer, I'll, I'll use this side. Definitely won't be using this side. This will damage the shoe. This is a lot softer. If you can, use a cloth instead. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna dip it into the pink stuff paste. So we'll dip it just a little bit, about that much. And then we're gonna rub it on the mark. I know my brush stuff already. It's leaving. It. It's literally left. Look. So let's wash it off now. This is the moment of truth. I'm so scared now. I don't know whether I've damaged it or not. Hopefully not. Probably have to wait for this to um, to dry overnight. But from what I can see so far, the marks have left the shoe. So I'm gonna have to leave it to dry overnight. But as you can see mark is no longer there on the shoe so hopefully that's done the trick now let's clean up the other shoe as you can see so many stains on there what I'm quite interested in is that there's a blue mark right there let's see if we can get rid of it so if we follow the steps again scour up or use your cloth as I said dip it into the pink stuff there you go I will dip it in water. I just dipped a little bit of it in water, my scourer, with the pink stuff. And I'll show you how that works. And now, as we wipe it on the shoe, look at that, immediately it just comes off. Hold on, let me get up and... So, as you can see here, lots of marks. Here's my scourer with the pink stuff. Literally, I am just wiping it no elbow grease being put into it and I can see 
don't know if you can see, let's see. Look, it's gone. All the marks have gone like so quickly. Here we go. Quite dirty over here. Let's see. Okay, this one I'm gonna have to put a little bit of elbow grease because it's right in the crease. Don't know if that's gonna go away. Whoops. You can see it's becoming quite foamy now. Anyways, we'll continue direct with the rest of the shoe because it's quite dirty. Let's continue. Wow, all the dirt is coming off so easily. Okay, here we are. Here's a stubborn mark, the blue. I doubt that's gonna go. I think that's been embedded for quite some time. But uh, yeah, the rest of the shoe is perfect. Super white. Let's get rid of some that pink stuff. So I've got rid of pink stuff, dipped it in warm water. So now Scara's clean and let's uh, wipe off this soap and oh my gosh, look at that. Super, super clean. Super clean. Now, like I said, what I have to do, especially in these areas, I'll go through it, I'll go over it with something else, probably like a cloth. Um, or maybe a toothbrush. Toothbrush might be the best thing here, so I can get get into all these little grooves and um, see what we do. But yeah, honestly, my honest review is that the pink stuff is brilliant. So there we have it, guys. Honestly, the pink stuff is brilliant. If you have the opportunity to get it, definitely get it. Um, it looks like it works specifically well on white trainers if you've got air force ones or anything white this is the ideal solution for you to get rid of all those marks that you're seeing on white trainers definitely use a toothbrush try and use a cloth instead of a scourer but if you really need to use a scourer use it i hope that's been helpful and informative i'm going to keep using it on all my trainers because it is working wonders and it does not leave any sort of like residue so yeah hope you've enjoyed that Catch you in the next one. Have a good weekend. Have a great day. Peace. I miss you.